Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So onwards and upwards at the moment nothing really to get too excited about. We are stretching for the 16840 area. I think we'll probably tag that before we do anything else. Separation of the oscillators is a little bit concerning at the moment on the 8 hours. We do have a crossover, it's a bullish crossover on the moving averages so um, you know, it does look like you know we may be looking to break out of this consolidation but it's been what one two three four five weeks of consolidation so that is a strong area of consolidation we're going to need to break through that quite convincingly and preferably on the weekly before we can say that this consolidation is over so with that in mind when you start drilling down through the time frames starting with the three hour we were below the moving averages we got back up we tested the 155 twice in the week and um, rejection here and then eventually gave up the uh, bears gave up and we just uh, started moving but this is a mess so there's no, no real trend no real structure so whatever you do you're doing it with small position size and you're waiting for entries that you can actually um, you actually spot and that uh, are very clear I'm just going to add one level in here on the three hour and this is uh, 16717 now you see how we've been moving above and below this level for quite some time and uh, we did try to reject it twice uh, two three hour bars um, in the week already and that has failed I'm going to move to the upside so when you start drilling down the time lower time frames you'll see the structure that starts to form so first things first uh, yesterday on the hour we started off moving to the downside then we broke up quite dramatically pulled back quite dramatically and then look at these rejection bars here almost a not a tweezer top but it's a tweezer pattern uh, and we did get below it as well that would have triggered a few shorts but what would it, what kept me out of it and what will always keep me out of these uh, failures is by paying attention to the 150 EMA because that if so long as price is above that we are in an uptrend so when we're using the hour as our trend so long as price stays above it this is an uptrend so you would have seen this pullback and you've been waiting to see what structure is in this area there is a pin bar right here for support and you can see we touched it twice but just below that pin bar is a fairly solid zone of support so that was at 16.667 and 16.652 so you know that you know if you can you block out all of these bars here and you just focus on what happened there a lot of people would have jumped in short because you would have seen this move starting two pin bars here rejecting a level a lot of people would have just jumped in early say well this thing's going down but the reality is you're above the 150 so the trend is up and you use the hour as your trend anyway uh, moving down to the 15 minute you need to smack that uh, like button while we get there and um, you'll see a lot more clarity here so you see we're still above the 150 on the 50 minute as well so we haven't really broken through any structure to the downside and rejected it which would indicate a potential rollover we're dropping below it and above it below it above it below it below it and then eventually slowly ground our way higher so and this is pretty much all after hours market here anyway so we are definitely looking at this level and that is 16717 you are also going to be paying attention to 16750 and the high of yesterday will probably get come into play as well somewhere along the line that's 16767 so oscillators are overbought at the moment so you don't really want to be jumping in up here we are definitely stretching for 16840 uh, we are at 16800 at the moment so I think you'll probably have a rejection here and a pullback onto uh, one of these levels. We are parabolic on the 15 minute. In other words, you can see gentle, gentle, then steeper, steeper, steeper. 
uh, with the oscillators group to the upside. So there's definitely going to be some kind of a pullback. This little level here at 16.717, you can actually even drop it a bit lower. And you see the structure here, and that would be 16.700, which would be another visit to the 150 EMA. So that would be your buying opportunity. Okay, so bear in mind that uh, CPI data is coming out in the US this afternoon, so you may very well just uh, drift sideways, go nowhere until that data is out, and then we shall see what transpires. Anyway, hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.